see that arc like 100 yards down there. We'll just kind of get to that little spot for now and then. Okay. See what we can see and then we'll go after them. Okay. Do it. Mm -hmm. We're facing rough terrain and steep ridges, so it's going to take some time to find a bear worth taking in this Idaho country. But finding him is just the beginning. Oh, I see him. I see him. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, we don't want to get too close because feel the wind to your neck. Just yeah. short, straight down the hill. It's like he's got a pretty good direction to him. And I think he's actually turned around. He's actually heading back up the canyon. You want to cut him off, kind of get alongside of him? Uh, yeah, there's a little rocky point right behind us there. We could turn right around and go back up to and get set up, I think. All right, He's I'll playing you. games with us here. <laughs> Like he's bedded up underneath that tree there, sitting down. Yeah, that little he's, brown, like light yeah. tree. Yeah, it's like he's been there for a little while, so maybe we can uh, get down these rocks here and get position, maybe try to get a poke at him. It's like a pretty good spot right here to get set up. He's just right across the canyon there. So. Yeah, I see him. See, there he's just sitting down. He's not going anywhere. Hopefully we can get a get a crack at him here as soon as he keeps, uh, keeps out in the open. At least we know where he's at on the hillside there. That's the hardest part is trying to find him and locate him, you know. So now we got the hard part done. Now he's just got to work with us here. Yeah. You're basically just uh, finding a place that's good to, you know, be able to glass all the area and sit and wait. I think it's going to be one of my furthest shots that I'm going to have to take with my 270. Anywhere from 200 to 400 yards will be my shot. And uh, I think the furthest I've taken was about 250 to 275. See Wide open. He's wide open. Huh? Top of his back? Yeah, just come off down the top of his back a little bit. There. Oh, good shot. Good shot. He's rolling down the hill. He's rolling down. Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him here. Oh, that was a good shot. Perfect shot. Oh, my God. Go from about an hour and a half of sitting here waiting, and all of a sudden, he just gave oh. us a shot. Huh? My hands are just like crazy right now. How far was it? About 290. Sweet. She spotted him from uh, it was a good six, seven hundred yards away. We made the nice long stalk, and after about two, three hours of waiting him out in the brush, she just she dropped him right in his tracks. I'm gonna pull it in just in case. I'm on a bear trail. This is good. Oh yeah. I don't need to keep my rifle loaded anymore. He's a little bigger than average. Oh, uh, really? It's a nice bear, yeah. He's going to be pushing 350. And we had a hard time just even moving him at all. So I kind of tells you right there. But yeah, he's probably about six and a half foot. Nice. Yeah, a nice big head. Full, that's a full mature boar right there. He's a nice bear. He looks older because his teeth are real old too. And yeah, they're probably all worn down. Yeah. Big and, head. Uh, got, got big old front paws on him. Uh, how many bears have you guys taken this year? Uh, this would be about a sixth one. Nice. We've seen a lot. It's been a good year. Obviously, they're eating well, so they're around. Awesome. I'm awaiting the arrival of two of my guests, Uriah Faber, who's a UFC fighter, and Chad Mendez, who fights as well. I'm a big hunter. I've been hunting with my father since I was seven, eight years old. It's okay. Anytime you're ready for the shot. This is insane country. Yeah, that's uh pretty big. This is where you need pack horses. Yeah. Yeah, or some young, strong backs. Yeah. Just right across the way over there, like there's a bear walking up left to right over there. On that road? Yeah. Oh I'm yeah, I see him. Is he by yeah. that little cedar tree? Yeah, he's just, he's just going through the brush there. Yeah, he's quite a ways off right now, but... He seems kind of small. Yeah. He's not a real big bear. See him on that road? See him right there? Yeah. I think there's one bedded up way down the canyon, I think, but I'll have to scope on it. Here we're scouting for some bears, and uh, unfortunately we haven't seen too many. We've seen maybe a couple, but uh, they're not really out, which is kind of kind of weird because it's been raining um, for the last day, so you think they'd be out, you know, eating today, but uh, we haven't seen anything but, you know, some deer and elk and nothing too exciting, but we're going to keep looking and see what we can see. Yeah. All right, well, let's go check up over the other side of the hill there and see if we can't run into something. What's that up there, Jimmy? Let's see if you can get him, that'd be cool. In the bear species, the polar bear reigns supreme. 
reaching weights up to 1,400 pounds and almost 10 feet in length. The black bear is no slouch, weighing up to almost 700 pounds and 7 feet in length. The brown bear is a close second to the polar bear, weighing in at almost 900 pounds and close to 9 feet in length. That one's about 3.30. 3.30? Dude, he's huge. Um, there's probably no way to sneak up on So we have no way to get closer, at least until until he moves. If he moves, then we can get, you know, once he gets into the brush. Can't you just go straight down here? I mean, yeah, yes. but I mean, he's looking our direction. He'll definitely bust us right now. I've never really shot over 200 yards, so uh, I think my, my biggest challenge is going to be the distance here. Um, you know, these canyons are, are wide. The bear is just laying there, just wallowing in his own fat. Right, Charles, let's head on over the hill here. The bear is just right across from us, all right? Okay. right here. I think we're not going to get a whole lot closer to him okay. without losing our elevation. So okay. let's go ahead and get set up right here. All right, you, you see him through the scope there, Chad? Yeah, I don't really have a clean shot though. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta wait for him to sit up for sure. Yeah. That brush isn't in the way. He's just, he keeps sitting up, laying back down. He's up, he's getting, get ready now. Come on. Just can't quite get himself out of bed. I feel like that some days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, it's happening. Okay, let's wait for him to stand up. Okay, okay here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anytime you're ready for the shot, yeah, you got a perfect got broadside there. Ready? <laughs> He's going down. He's going down. Oh, yeah, he went down. He's going down the canyon. Oh, yeah. Watch him rolling down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good yeah, shot yeah. there. That was a good shot. Coming up, Chad reaps the rewards of his first black bear hunt on Going Country. Nice. Congratulations, my man. Congratulations, there he nice. is. That is awesome. Congrats. Woo. Nice so job. Shabby. Like we got a dead bear right here, Chad. Nice. Congratulations, my man. Congratulations, there he is. Look at that fat bear. Oh, look at the color on this guy. Cool. Yeah, okay. got a big old foot on him. He's looking how fuzzy he is. Okay, one more. No big as belly nice. beef. No wonder he wasn't wanting to get up to his yeah. stuff. <laughs> Look oh. how fat he is. I kept God. looking at this hand, thinking how big he was. He hasn't got a big old paw on. Yeah. Maybe we'll put him in the gym. Uh -oh. You should just have him doing what he's doing <laughs> all the we'll, time. We'll, we'll hang a, a sign from his mouth that says Team Alpha Male. Yes. <laughs> Much like Labrador Retrievers, Black bears come in a wide variety of shades and colors. Despite their name, black bears range from brown to cinnamon to black and even white as seen in the Kermode black bear found in British Columbia, Canada. In this area of Idaho,